Last week, we made a custom King Kong Akato Warrior. He features dual punching action, a full body split strike, and real fake fur. The first Harry Akato Warrior. <clears throat> huh? The second Harry Akato Warrior ever. Today, I'll be turning Super Splitter Burndown into someone that comes highly requested. What's up everyone? We're back in the Eddie's World Workshop. I'm super excited for this one. We're finally making Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I really wanted to use Tail Whip for the Godzilla customization and I know you guys did too. But to do it right, you really need to use a super splitter. Make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video to see how this one turns out. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Even though I'm not using Tail Whip, I'll still pay tribute to him by using his weapon and feet. These pins holding Burndown's feet to the base weren't meant to be removed. The only way to get them out is to drill a hole in the front of the foot. I ended up having to use both my Dremel and my hand drill to get the job done. And now I can use the new holes I just drilled to push the pin out. With both halves of the body off the base, I'll grind down the front of both feet so we can glue on the lizard-like toes of Tail Whip. I'll also take off both arms and very carefully take off the head. Lastly, I'll remove all the texture from the legs and body. This is the gods of the head that I'll be using for today's project. The arms will take off this slightly smaller Godzilla figure and their main purpose will be for defense. You know, blocking maces, claws, fists, earths, lightsabers, hadoukens, and so on. Anytime you add details to the back of a custom Akato warrior, it can potentially interfere with that figure's split strike motion. Everything needs to be planned out and tested. Luckily for us, these new super splitters open up a whole new realm of possibilities. After a bunch of testing, I decided to attach the first and largest set of spines onto both the left and right side of Godzilla's back. The tail itself will be completely attached to the right side of the figure. To help give the tail strength and shape, we'll use a large paper clip that will be connected to the body through two holes. I'll be using my 3D pen to fabricate the tail because the plastic filament is both strong and flexible. And if you've ever watched Clark and Eddie battle, you know we need Godzilla to be extremely durable. Especially since King Kato is essentially untouched in terms of weapon modification. I just swapped his head and put a bunch of fur on him. The worst thing I can see happening to King Kato is a big patch of fur being ripped off. But if Godzilla's tail falls off, that could be disastrous. Were you guys wondering how I was going to use Tail Whip's weapon? I'm going to attach it to the end of Godzilla's tail, but I'm going to leave it in Tail Whip's hand so it has the same swiveling action as a normal Akato weapon.
It's extremely bulky, but I think it's well worth it. Now that the tail is all patched up and glued on, we can attach the spines. The last thing I want to do is use the chest details from our chopped up Godzilla figure. The fabrication of our Godzilla warrior is finally complete and I'm so relieved that I was able to figure out the back and tail. But something just isn't right. It's his head. It just doesn't look right. I'm gonna cut it off and try something else. That looks a lot better. I think I just saved the build right there, guys. And with that last minute change successfully complete, we are ready to paint. There ain't nothing to it. Go ahead and bring a lot on. Ain't no giant, I ain't gon' fire on. Catch a fade, you I'm wrong, I'm gone. Y'all can catch the wave that I am on. I am icon, y'all are wide wrong. Think that I'ma reconcile bones. There ain't nothing to it though. This is all me, ain't got much to do with who you know. Keep it a true to form ten L's into a milli though. But they already knew that those for well to your opinions know that he is so. This is all me, ain't got much to do with who you know. Yeah, keeping it true to form, but they already knew that y'all here we go. Are you guys ready for Super Splitter Godzilla, King of the Monsters? I'm really happy with the way he turned out. I think he'll be a worthy opponent for King Kato. And we will have that battle very soon. Let me know in the comments who you guys think will be crowned king. If it helps you with your decision, Clarky did say he wanted to play King Kato, so that leaves Eddie with Godzilla. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and smash that like button. And we will see you in the next video.